Nihal DV Asia. Uh, so happy to be talking to you today from NAB. Uh, this uh, year at the NAB trade show, Adobe has a brand new version of Premiere Pro, After Effects, Adobe Audition, Adobe Character Animator. So all the applications have an update this time around. Um, one of the big new features this time is uh, Content Aware Fill for Video. This is powered by our Sensei technology. And the idea of Content Aware Fill is this will automatically help you remove objects from your video. So whether you're trying to create like a clean shot to be able to do more compositing with, or whether you're trying to just remove unwanted elements like a boom mic or somebody walking into a frame, we now automate this process. We make it very, very easy to, uh, to do this. Um, just magic when you see it, I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. So here I am inside of After Effects, and one of the examples I want to show is uh, just removing an unwanted object. Uh, this is something that has actually happened to me before. I have been this guy on the screen here. Uh, we have a shot of a surfer uh, right at sunset, so the lighting is just perfect. And of course, this gentleman has walked into the frame of the shot, so we have to reset and try and reshoot, but the lighting will not be the same. So what I'm going to do is use Content Aware Fill for Video to remove this gentleman from the shot. Now, the one thing I need to do before I can use Content Aware Fill is uh, mask the person. So I'm gonna, I've am going i already done that here. I have a mask, and you can see we're making the mask very, very loose around the area. We just need to tell Content Aware Fill the area that we want to fill. I'm going to change the mask to a subtract mask. So you can see now we have transparent pixels. Uh, where uh, this is the area that we want to tell Content Aware Fill to, uh, to go through and do the magic work. Content Aware Fill is found in a new panel, which you can see over here on the right. And I am going to go ahead and use the expansion here to just set this to about five or six extra pixels. It just gives me a little bit of an extra overlap here. Um, there's different modes working with Content Aware Fill. In this case, we are removing an object. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And at this point, I can just hit Generate Fill Layer. And this will go through the process and actually generate out the layers, uh, the different frames that I need here. So you can see it's doing the analysis right now. Nothing has been pre-rendered. I'm letting this actually do the analysis of the different frames so that it can fill the pixels necessary. Um, um, and the technology it is using under the hood to do this, it will look at frames before or after the frame that it needs to fill the hole. So if it can find pixels in a previous frame or a later frame, it will automatically do that for me. If the object always interrupts part of the shot, it will use pattern recognition to synthesize and create pixels to fill the hole. As I've been talking here, you can see it's already started the process of filling the hole. I can actually start to scrub through some of these different frames. And you can see there it's finished up now. So now I can just hit play and you'll see that this has actually created new pixels that get rid of the other cameraman jumping into the shot. Um, and it's done a really nice, effective job of filling those frames. Lastly, what this leaves and creates for me is it is a PNG sequence. So if I need to do any manual cleanup work on this later, I have uh, the PNG sequence. I could actually go and do all any additional cleanup work that I'd want to do to make this 100% perfect. So the idea is many times directly out of the software, it is really, really good, good enough for broadcast. But if I'm working on a feature film on a high budget production, my post-production supervisor is very, very picky about the pixels. Um, you have everything that you've done with this is ready to be modified further using your own skills with paint and cleanup. So no matter what your skill set is, uh, content aware fill for video is going to be a tool you're going to use. It is absolutely fantastic. It feels like magic when we use it.